everyone, it's Regan and welcome to another reading vlog. As you can see, it's very sunny and beautiful today in New York City. And Clay and I both have finished up our work day today, so the weekend has officially begun. Um, nothing wild planned for this weekend, much of the same, but we do have a few new activities we're excited to try. But first and foremost, I'm gonna chat about my reading plans. In full transparency, I really don't know what I wanna read after I finish the book I am currently reading, but the book I'm currently reading is Shore Fall, and I'm on page 370. So I have about 130 pages of this book left, book left, and I hopefully will finish it tonight. I'm really liking it a lot. I talked about it a lot in my past reading vlog. I didn't read very much this past work week, unfortunately, but I do plan to finish it, obviously. Obviously. Um, second book to a fantastic fantasy series that has a super unique magic system, great and lovable characters, just so many great things going for it. Where I'm at in the book is definitely the like peak of the plot, so things are happening and it's super exciting and I did not want to put it down, um, so I feel like I'll have no issue finishing it tonight. This weekend, Clay and I have two game nights. We have our normal game night tonight and then my game night with my brother tomorrow, which is a much more serious trivia situation. He, I got sent this super long email outlining everything and I forgot my brother and his friends love trivia and they they put money down, we're gonna lose, but we'll have a fun time. My brother is very smart, and so, <laughs> and so are his friends. Yeah, they're you like, not to smart? say that we're not smart, but Matilda. Matilda's on our team, so we have, we, that's, she's our ace in the hole. The theme is 90s, and there's all these different categories. My brother reads like Wikipedia for fun. He is like the master of fast facts. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, they love trivia, I love trivia very much, so it should be, it should be a good time. Even though I'm a little intimidated. <laughs> I'll hide the answers in my beard. <laughs> um, that being said, so we have two game nights and then also all of my sushi making stuff came in. I think I mentioned this on Instagram, but I bought a bunch of sushi making stuff off Instagram. I took a sushi making class um, late last year with work and it was so much fun and it was delicious and so I was like, well, let's make some sushi at home. I made some veggie rolls for lunch today at work but Clay ordered some sashimi grade salmon for us to make some like full rolls um, tomorrow. So Reagan that's made our some plan. really good sushi today. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. It was, surpri it was not surprising. Surprisingly but it good. Was, you always make really good food and <laughs> it was just, I've only ever had sushi from a restaurant. Like it wasn't made at my home growing up, anything like that. And it was like a real sushi roll. Thanks. And it was a veggie one. Normally yeah. I'm like veggie roll. No, thank you. Yeah, because like vegetables, take it back. <laughs> but yeah, it was actually really tasty. So I'm definitely going to be doing that more at work. Um, I got like rice seasoning and all of that. I got my little roller. It's a lot of fun. So I'm excited to do that tomorrow. Um, read Animal Crossing. Millie's looking at us like, what? We got some stuff to make Aperol spritzes. You know, we're just trying to keep things fresh in this household. Uh, should be a lot of fun. But yeah, I don't know what I want to read after Shore Fall. So that'll be just like a journey we'll go on together tomorrow probably. So I'm just not gonna even think about it right now. It'll come to me when it comes to me. But in the meantime, uh, I think we're about to watch The Great because that's premiering tonight on Hulu. Well, it's already premiered, dropped on Hulu. So we're gonna watch the first episode of that, which I'm thrilled about. Have an Aperol spritz. Oh, and to I'm just rambling. This opening clip is so long. Tonight is our food ordering night. So we ordered barbecue. So mm. that will be really tasty. So those are our immediate plans. So welcome to this vlog. Let's begin. So I decided to go for a warm tone rainbow. Well, I guess not rainbow, but gradient. These are all the warm colors I bought. And maybe I'll do a cool tone next. Probably would still include the yellow, but I think it looks really nice. Also making some Aperol spritzes. The barbecue has arrived. Wow. What a beautiful sight. Barbecue consumed, and so we're obviously getting some Naruto time in before game night begins. It's an end to a beautiful day, but guys, it was so beautiful outside. But obviously, you gotta get that Naruto. Kakashi, number one hottie in Naruto. Don't at me. Actually, let me know down below. I would say the two hottest people in Naruto Shippuden, Kakashi, Shikamaru. Clay, who would you say? The two hottest dudes? Yeah. Best brewskis? Um, definitely Kakashi. He's the, he's smoking hot. Um, and you don't even see his face ever. I know. That's he's smoking hot with literally, right yeah, the, the most face, face the most face action you get are two eyes. Second hottest guy in Naruto. Hmm. Shikamaru's brain. <laughs> Shikamaru. Pretty hot. Second hottest, because I'm a Sasuke stan. He is a Sasuke, Sasuke stan. 
He's gotta come back. You love an emo boy. But anyway, we're gonna get back to it. It's game night. Every Sunday. Oh, I told you that and Matilda. The salon is gonna be closed is one ready day week now. On to Sunday. play. All right, post game night can only mean one thing. It's late, and I'm gonna do some reading and Clay's playing Call of Duty with um, the people from game night. Uh, but I'm really excited. As I said earlier, I have 130 pages left of Shorefall. I'm gonna try to finish it tonight. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it tonight. But I'm hoping to get a good chunk of the way through and then I can wake up tomorrow morning and finish it in the morning and then figure out what to read next because I still have no idea what I feel like reading. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on finishing Shorefall which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna read until I ultimately fall asleep. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm up. I did my full skincare routine. I feel very glowy. I even have sunscreen on, 10 a.m. Um, I am about to sit down and do some reading. I was able to read 60 pages last night, but that does mean I have about 70 pages left to finish this book. It is wild right now, and I just feel like I wanna pick it up right away read it right away and just get a book finished for the weekend and plus like i don't know i've been in the whole like the end game of this book it feels like for a long time so i feel like to do it justice i just need to finish it i have a pot of coffee brewing right now i'm actually going to put some music on to listen to a little peaceful morning reading sesh if you will um so yeah i'll keep you guys posted but yeah i'm going to read this it's a little after 10 a.m we have sushi to make this afternoon and trivia to play tonight with my brother. Those are our grand plans for the day. I think we'll watch Naruto as well. And then, um, I, th I know I'm saying Naruto wrong when I say Naruto, I think it's Naruto. Um, but, sorry. <laughs> um, and then, oh goodness, what else? Oh, tomorrow I wanna make some banana chocolate chip muffins because they're so good and I have bananas. So those are my extended plans for the next couple of days. Hope you enjoy should be a good time but for now i'm just gonna put some phoebe bridgers on some very chill sad music and read the last bit of shorefall which i'm really excited about look at it just like just that little bit there and then i need to figure out what i want to read next i still have absolutely no flipping idea but we'll deal with that later i'm not even thinking about that right now guys i finished shorefall the end was so good it was very emotional i teared up at multiple moments and honestly I was like as I was reading I was like how are they gonna make a book three so a lot of you guys commented on my last vlog that Goodreads says there's a trilogy so I was like getting to the end I was like how's this gonna be a book three and then and then it established how there's gonna be a book three and oh my gosh it's gonna be another agonizing year of waiting sorry I just ate a bunch of croutons I need to go get a sip of water. Anyone else just snack on croutons? Just me? I love bread, okay? Anyway, I changed into some comfy daytime clothes, including my scrunchie. Can you see? I bought a bunch of scrunchies, so this is a new thing I'm trying out. Um, wish me luck. But now we're gonna watch Top Chef, because we haven't seen this week's past episode, and then Clay's gonna go pick up our order of fish for our sushi that we're gonna make this afternoon. So gonna do a lot of chilling this afternoon I am gonna figure out what I want to read next but I need to marinate a bit on shorefall a bit more because of how emotional and just action-packed the that book was it really picks up I would say like the, the beginning it's kind of just like getting its bearings based off the end of the first one and there is that three-year time skip so you're kind of like all right what's going on what are we doing and then it just like picks up speed picks up speed picks up speed and then it's just this runaway train um, but yeah I loved it and i'm really excited for the next one in the series and sad that it's not just in my possession already so i need to figure out what i want to read next but i honestly have no idea so i'm gonna watch top chef instead okay clay went to go pick up our fish but i just put some rice i washed some rice i washed it first and now i'm cooking it um we just did like a cup and a half i got specific sushi making rice which worked really well when i made it yesterday I bought some rice seasoning online. The only one I could get was a kimchi flavor, but luckily I love kimchi, so we're just going with it. And then I got some um, rice vinegar to season the rice as well. We have our rolling mats, cutting board. I'm not gonna cut up anything until obviously the fish is here. I need the rice to cook and cool first anyway. So I'm just kind of starting the process. Got a bowl, got it all. It's gonna be so much fun, I'm so excited. All right, things are going down. I got. The salmon, avocado, some cucumber, wasabi, spicy mayo, the seasoned rice. Let's roll some stuff up, guys. 
Reagan is such a good chef. Look at hers. Wow. That is chef. These are mine. Boom, put the little salmon on the side. Look bad, Clay. You know, look at her. Look at her riding. Riding and rolling. <clears throat> you did a great job. Matilda, do you want any sushi? None for you. Hey, job. Well done. We did it. I made three, Clay made two, but we'll, we'll split. I tried to do some with rice on the outside, which I'll say harder than rice on the inside, but she's learning. We have been watching Naruto. We've started a very good new arc, but now we're about to go on a walk. <laughs> but now we're about to go on a walk with that one because it's actually a really beautiful day outside. Hi, it's me. And then when we get back, I need to figure out what book I want to start and prep to lose. And trivia tonight so you know oh i have my new scrunchie did i already show you guys my scrunchie i think so but anyway we're gonna head out for a walk around the old neighborhood gotten back from our walk i picked up some more fresh flowers got a little summer bouquet going here i honestly don't know how much height how tall flowers supposed to be in a vase like that but anyway got those and then some more peonies, which are my absolute favorite flower. It's peony season, so I just couldn't say no. And I also already have some over there that I bought last weekend, so it's a good time. But now it's a great time because Millie gets her dog ice cream. Come over here. And she does it so intensely and very quickly. Such a good patient girl sitting. Enjoy your little ice cream, Millie. She'll not move from this spot. I'm gonna give her like two minutes and the whole thing will be gone. Also made Clay and I a little frozen treat. And I put, and I also decided to put a, uh, a yellow summer dress on because, I don't know, it's beautiful outside and I really like this dress, so why not? <laughs> I don't feel like you need reason to do anything. I'd be wearing a snowsuit right now. <laughs> so I have departed into the bedroom to play some Animal Crossing, watch some Real Housewives, and hopefully get some reading in before trivia night in a few hours, Matilda. But honestly, I have no idea what I want to read. I'm kind of deciding between three books right now. One, The Thief's Daughter by Jeff Wheeler, which is book two to the King Fountain series. This is short and I feel like I will just kind of fly through this and I really enjoyed the first one. Also, I want to read the guest list or I'm deciding between a romance novel as well. I just do not know what I want to read. It's so confusing. So I'm just going to kind of sit, marinate on these, see what happens. But I'm going to play a little bit of Animal Crossing because I can't decide. So I might as well just, you know, there's no rush. So I'll figure it out. I think maybe this because I just haven't really read a thriller. I don't know though, guys. I just, I don't know. I kind of want to read a romance, but then I also kind of want to read that. Luckily, it's a product that I want to read it all at once. So, you know, Millie, it could be worse. I could not want to read anything. I won't lie. I lost track of time and played like two hours of Animal Crossing and didn't read it all. I think I've decided on reading the guest list. So I'm going to start that later. Making some additional Aperol spritzes for round two of Trivia Night tonight. Also, we found out we're actually on my brother's team, which... It's like teams of five, which I'm pretty jazzed about, you know? We're pooling our knowledge resources, uh, and I like that, yeah. Some sibling bonding, but we're all set up for Zoom, and uh, we're, about to, we're about to log on. Matilda and popcorn. We ordered delivery for dinner, but we're in the midst of playing trivia, so I didn't show it. Trivia was so fun. Basically, how it was structured was, one of our friends was the moderator, and they like, organized this whole thing. It was kind of like what you would do trivia-wise at a bar. So there was all these different rounds and categories. There was an overall arching theme. And in Zoom, you can have like meeting rooms. So you have teams and you guess. It was a really great time, wouldn't you say, Clay? It was. It was hard. Some of the questions were really hard, but that kind of makes it fun. Cause if it's too easy, then it's like everyone gets a hundred. That's not how it should work, you know? But now we're gonna watch some Naruto and then I'm hopefully gonna start my book tonight as well. Hi everyone. So watched some Naruto, but now I have decided it is time to start reading for the day. I honestly couldn't decide between the books, but so I just really picked one at random. I just stared at them and I'm like, whatever, I'll just 
randomly like close my eyes grab one and I'll just read the next one like once I finish the first the <laughs> cannot talk once I finish one of them I'll just immediately pick up the other and the one that I picked up with my eyes closed was the guest list which I'm excited about this is not very long and it's a thriller it's basically I think like a modern reinterpretation of and then they were none by Agatha Christie it's set on an island during a wedding and it's like a who's who wedding full of like pomp like full of pompous rich sort of people and I think someone dies and there's a murderer on the loose and it, all in all I love whodunit style mysteries it's definitely like the subcategory of mystery thriller that I personally love the most I think there's like an element of like a historicalness and almost like a playfulness within those style of narratives like no matter how creepy it is there's something kind of like mustache twirly about it that I think makes it feel less scary for someone like me who's literally scared of everything but anyway I'm gonna sit down and start it I'm really hoping it's like super super fast um, because I don't know I'm almost like mildly slumpy because I couldn't make a decision it felt weird so I'm hoping this book is one that just like immediately sucks me in I read it super quickly stay up late tonight finish it early tomorrow and then maybe even start the thief's daughter tomorrow as well but we'll see I don't want to count any chickens before they hatch as they say but I'm gonna get to reading now quick check-in I am getting sleepy I've had this unfortunate habit of basically almost immediately falling asleep when I start reading at night now but I've passed the 50 page mark this book is not long it's just over 300 pages and so far I'm liking it it's definitely um, I knew the characters wouldn't be likable going into it which I have no issue with especially when it comes to a murder mystery um, and it's interesting it shifts POV from every chapter and I'm assuming you're kind of just getting grounded I'm in like the day before the wedding and I think we're just getting grounded with all the different POVs and their complicated relationships with one another for whatever murder we're about to encounter. Everyone sucks, but that's just kind of what you expect. Or not everyone sucks, but everyone's hiding something or something's going on, something dark and there's secret or there's trouble and everyone's like putting on like a false, you know, outward appearance. I would say there's definitely some trigger warnings in this for self-harm and I would also say just like body image and things. So I would definitely just want to flag that but I am liking it um, it's not the best thriller I've ever read so far but it's entertaining for sure hi everyone happy Sunday I have been up for a little while I even got dressed I'm really proud of myself because I am wearing pants I'll show you the outfit in a little bit but I don't know I've only been able to put on sweats and dresses recently so I've been trying to put uh, push myself to wear pants because I have so many cute spring summer shirts that I've just you know pulled out from under my bed that I've been so excited to wear and haven't been wearing them because pants were too daunting but anyway it's what time is it it's um probably like 11 30 I woke up and bought some turnips I did some relaxing I watched some random compilation videos on YouTube like one about abandoned cities it happens um, I have also read a little bit more of the guest list this morning. I've now passed the 100 page mark of this book. I really feel like I'm going to be able to finish this this afternoon. Clay has work today, um, so I'm going to try to just hunker down, chill, do some reading. The guest list is definitely entertaining. It is what I anticipated in that, like, it's uncomfortable because you don't like anyone and you have this feeling that like I've already mentioned they're all hiding something but I'm pretty sure they've all done bad things and we're going to uncover that especially like again this is set during a wedding so the groom is this TV survivalist personality and all of his schoolboy friends are there and there was a lot of like rituals at their all boy school and it's very like boys will be boys kind of mentality I you're not supposed to like them um but it's it just makes me especially uncomfortable like these like puffed up men who just like think they can do anything and have done bad things to each other and to other people kind of thing um but yeah you're, again you're switching from different povs and everyone comes from like a different background like you follow um like a married couple and the man is was really good friends with the bride growing up and they were both like in love with each other and they seemingly still have this weird relationship that also makes me uncomfortable especially for the wife whom I like if there's anyone in this book I like it's Hannah um and she is a trooper she's at this wedding she doesn't want to be at she's around all these terrible people her husband has this weird relationship with the bride and I don't know any hoosies it's entertaining for sure and it's a fast read um given the pacing and I like that it's switching from 
present to like just a few days before the wedding to kind of set everything up I still don't know who's died and we don't know like no investigation has started but I'm exactly one third of the way through so I feel like it's going to be happening soon right now though I'm going to make some chocolate chip banana muffins because honestly I can't stop thinking about them this is probably like my favorite recipe I have found they're so good <laughs> and I have a bunch of bananas that I literally just buy and let get older so I can make these muffins. Um, so I'm gonna make some right now and enjoy them today. I have some soup I'm gonna heat up for lunch as well and then dinner I'm gonna make one of our Hello Freshes. but first I'm gonna make some chocolate chip banana muffins because they are so good. So I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> Making my muffins, I have all my ingredients out. I even have extra bananas per Clay's request. Voila. We're in the oven and I am so excited. I had more batter than usual because I used that extra banana and I think they're going to be like the best batch yet. Oh, let me show you my quick OOTD. It's me. This is what I'm wearing. These paper bag jeans, which are like fake jeans. And then this little, my washing machine's done. Place this cute song. Um, and uh, this embroidered Madewell shirt from many, many years ago, but it's really soft and I like the cotton and it just very casual and comfy. These jeans are the best purchase I've ever made, and I got them on sale, so I hope I can have them for the rest of my life. They're literally like fake pants. I love them. Today would not be Sunday without a fresh batch of muffins. Per usual, I did half chocolate chip, half blueberry. So good. I've got a muffin, I've got my coffee, and I'm going to sit down and get some serious reading in. I feel like for the past couple of weeks, I haven't been very good at reading during the afternoon so I'm trying to resolve that. I've also already read like 40 pages while waiting for these muffins to cook so I'm just gonna keep on trucking. Maybe I'll finish this mid-afternoon and I'll start a third book which would be kind of shocking. I haven't read so much in a weekend in a while so I'm just gonna keep reading this. It's definitely intriguing me. I hate everyone but the mystery is there and there's a sense of like eeriness that I think is really engaging. I still don't know what the actual mystery is, which is a little surprising that I don't even know who's dead yet, but I'm uncomfortable, which I feel like is partially the goal. <laughs> also look at Matilda. She's been here all day, just in her little basket by the sun, on the blanket, just living her best Sunday life. I'm gonna sit right there and read, so let's start. So I am flying through this book. I'm almost two-thirds of the way through. I'm just under the 200 page mark and I have to say This book is really entertaining. It has this sort of like dark enchanting quality to it It's very mesmerizing and foreboding. It has this unease that you feel throughout it I definitely would say it wasn't exactly what I was expecting going in I anticipated this to be maybe having a little more humor in it and again, I still don't even know who is dead. <laughs> so I'm a little surprised how long, so it's not so much of a Hugh done it as I thought it would be in that normally books like this open on a murder, which it did. But I think part of the mystery is who died. Less of like who did it, like who has the motive. So we're kind of like very much reading from all these different POVs and there's all these like secrets and I'm sure it feeds into the murder and it will still be a very satisfying reveal, at least I hope so. But it's less about like, trying to solve the mystery. I'll, I do enjoy the setting. It's on this like very remote island off the coast of Ireland. It definitely has some like great spirit to it. There's also this element of like this dark, disturbing like sexual tension over everything, like predatory. So I would definitely flag that going into it. There's just these group of, there's just this group of men that are just the worst, just the worst. And it's definitely like a large part of the story and they're supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. I just want to flag that. It's entertaining. It's really good and I'm very curious to see how it's going to wrap up. But I did think it was going to be a bit more funny, a little more cheeky. And I thought the mystery would be more central to like trying to figure out what happened. Kind of like a Knives Out or a uh, Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. We're not really solving the mystery at all, but they're, it's still very mystery centric. It's just different than I was expecting. But anywho, I'm gonna keep reading. 
and try to figure out what the crap is going on. <laughs> it's a great book just to fly through on a Sunday. I'm really jazzed that I'm reading so much this afternoon. As it's been a minute since I've read in the afternoon like this on a Sunday. Um, so yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna finish this pretty easily and then I'm gonna make lunch, which is gonna be gumbo. Tasty, tasty. Guys, I finished this book. Just, it was 313 pages long. I could not put it down. It's definitely not a perfect book, but it is entertaining and it is dark and it is satisfying, I would say. I really liked how the whole thing wrapped up. The last like 50 or 60 pages were really well paced and I would say the, the beginning feels a little slow and then it just gets faster and faster and faster and then you're jumping perspective. Like some pers most perspectives near the end are only a page long and you're jumping from all these characters. And I just feel like it kind of came together in a really satisfying thundercloud. Some of the things I did guess and see coming, but there was definitely some pieces I did not put together till I was confronted with them and I found it to be very satisfying in that way. This is definitely a very dark book with a laundry list of trigger warnings. So this is not like a fun, campy, whodunit style story. This is definitely a dark book about some very screwed up people trapped together on an island um, with some lots of secrets but all in all obviously i read this book really quickly in like 24 hours and it was highly entertaining and, and if anything kind of what i wanted in a lot of ways like i wanted to be entertained i wanted to have a good mystery i wanted to read a book and just marathon it through and i was definitely able to do that with this and it's been a minute since i feel like i've read a book so quickly um so yeah i finished it read the 313 pages of this i'm now gonna make lunch it is like past three i did not mean to make lunch so late but i wanted to finish the book you know i have like 50 pages left of like i don't i'm just gonna finish it like i'm not gonna do anything else until this is done kind of thing but now i'm now i read it so wow maybe i'll start my third book of the weekend here soon it's like i have the whole day ahead of me still okay, it's time for lunch and i'm gonna heat up some gumbo from goodstock it's so good this had a little leak in it hence why it's in a pack but i'm heating up some rice this will be like a five minute lunch and then I think I want to watch some reality TV. I'm not sure. I still can't believe I read a whole book this afternoon, basically. Lunch is served. Reagan in her element. I'm giving an island tour. Wait, you are? No, don't show them. It's not ready. Hey, Millie. How are you doing? I love you. When Matilda just suddenly wakes up and looks at you, with utter disdain and confusion. She's like, what? I was sleeping. <laughs> Gets me every time. Pour a coffee and a Kakashi backstory arc. I've changed into my evening comfortable clothes. This little short sleeve sweatshirt says, mom, I'm fine, which I thought was really funny. Then I'm just wearing gray leggings and socks. <laughs> Hey. Just put the challenge on and I'm actually about to start cooking dinner. I'm watching the challenge with my friend Emily. I'm gonna turn it off now before you hear a bunch of uncensored cursing in the background. Just wanted to say, pasta is in the works, challenge is being consumed. So this is what I'm making, very healthy. Did my chopping, cooking the onions and the peppers, watching the challenge. I hate bear right now. Actually, I hate all of the non-elimination storylines right now. And she's done. Super unhealthy. Cannot wait to dive in. So I'm gonna watch more challenge in here and play some Animal Crossing. But I also just wanted to quickly shout out the book I'm going to pick up. And I think I'm actually gonna download a new Tessa Dare book to start tonight. No, I just want something a little easy, a little breezy to read throughout my work week, and I feel like, what is this? Like, there's one called The Marquis. It's the second book in the Castle Ever After series is the one I'm on. So I think, Matilda, I am going to read that. But first, I'm going to watch more challenge, and I'm going to work on the entrance to my island and make it look a little better. Hey everyone, and welcome to the end of the vlog the next day. So all in all, I would say... I am very, very pleased with all the reading I was able to accomplish this weekend. I started three books. Well, I either started or finished three different books. So I feel like I had a huge range of things I've read as well. Um, I'm actually going to start with the book I started last night because I don't think I did an additional check-in. I did end up picking another Tessa Dare book up. I was going to pick up the second book in the Castles Ever After series, 
but I read the synopsis and I think it had cheating in it, so I just jumped to the third one. And that one is um, When a Scot Ties a Knot. And the premise of this one I thought sounded hilarious. It's basically about a girl in British society who's like super, super shy. So to avoid having to go to like balls and go out in society, she made up a fake um, like fiance, like a Scottish fiance fighting in the war. And she's been like writing letters to him for years um, to like no one. She just assumed they wouldn't go anywhere. So she just wrote all these letters and they got sent out into oblivion, blah, blah, blah. Um, turns out he's a real person and he shows up like 10 years later after the war with all of her letters and he's like, time for us to get married. So it's a really, really funny setup. And so far it's very entertaining. Um, set in the Highlands and all of that shenanigans. It has all like the trappings of a Tessa Dare book, good witty banter, romance. This one is a little different. I still think the Girl Meets Duke series is the best one I've read, but I read 60 pages of this and it was obviously a super fast read, very entertaining and exactly what I wanted. So I started that and I'm excited to finish it over the next couple days. And the premise I think is one that is just like extra special. I love it. I love this idea of like letters and they keep referring to them. It's really funny. Um, obviously outside of that, I also read 130 pages of Shorefall, the last remaining pages of this. I ended up loving this book. It's picked up speed wonderfully at the end. Maybe a little slow in the beginning, but it just built on itself so, so, so well. Had so many great plot reveals and I just cannot wait for the third one. I don't know how I'm gonna wait. Robert Jackson Bennett is just, just one of my favorite authors of all time. All of his books are just exceptional. And then lastly, of course, I read the entirety of The Guest List, which is a thriller mystery novel. Um, kind of a whodunit, but definitely more like the thriller mystery relationship based book. Um, I ultimately thought this was very entertaining. I gave it like a 3.75 out of five stars. It kept me turning the pages, even though it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I still enjoyed it. So those are all the books I picked up this weekend. I think I read over 500 pages, but I'm really just jazzed that I read so many different types of books, romance, thriller, fantasy. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with another one soon. Goodbye.